guys welcome back to the channel please like and subscribe and I'm out on the bank again I'm at trench pool my this is one of my local pools and um, been here a couple of hours now and nothing Um I did a lap of the lake did a lap of the lake yeah and I um, tied it on the opposite side to where I normally fish which is the well they call houses side because the houses behind that's the roadside. The roadside is not normally fish, but today I saw a couple of fish. One out there, one out there, and then he jumped again, and one further down. But I decided on this peg, and I've had nothing. So I put one on where the showing fish was. Nothing. That was a pink hit and run, and nothing yet. But the sun went in, now it's come back out. But I had a few mishaps with the spod rod, which has annoyed me very much. So I might PVA bag on the one rod. I might bring this rod, the, the left hand rod, just out there towards that boy. And the other one is out there towards, as you can see, on um, there, that boy. So. I might bring the other one a bit closer and spot hard. Put a lot of a bit better bait down. I'm only here for the day, so let's, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So I've got one rod about there. Sorry for the focusing. I'd say by that green boy, I would say four or five rod lengths away from it. Same with that one. It's probably well it is. I've sixteen wraps out. So towards that boy at least uh, uh, boy, sorry, sixteen wraps out. And the same with that one. Sixteen wraps out to that towards that boy. And that's where I'm fishing. There's a lot of bird life on here, which is annoying. So spotting might be hard a bit later. But PVA bag, I've made one up. I'm going to make some more up. I'm not used to doing PVA bagging, so it's a new thing for me. But yeah, I shall give it a go. See if I can get a PVA bag 16 wraps out. It's going to be tricky. I'm not best of casting, but We'll give it a go. A little quick one. My rod set up. And um, these rods, they are TF Gear Banshee in 275. Both 275. I've got with them. I've, I've teamed them with the TF Gear Big Pit Reel, which up there and there. And I like them. Some beer ones, but the point. Okay, so my spod rod. It's actually a Fox EOS Pro. It's a Fox EOS Pro spod and marker rod. But on that, I've still got the TF Gear reel. That's given me some jip this morning. I had a wind knot. I had. Oh, it was just doing my head in. Do my head in that, that rod today. Might get that back going in a bit. Turned up. The poxy rain! What's right behind us? Can't move, can't do nothing. The sun's in my eyes, man. Look at that. Yeah. 
yeah, you can look at me. That one's coming right, right by us, look. Wow. So, five hours in, still nothing. I've changed my right hand rod to the margin. My left hand rod is out there. I think we've got craze in the pool, but hey ho. We'll still, we'll still do it. And I've got some visitors. Bloody visitors. Canadian geese family. The wind got up a bit earlier and um, it hasn't died off so spotting is out of the question. I should put a PVA bag out. Not quite 16 wraps which I was fishing. There wasn't any bait out there so just the 16 wraps I will try again like after a couple of hours I'll put another one out. guy over in the wooded area and there's a guy on the road lake roadside but fishing's fishing and you don't always catch so end of the fishing day and no fish another blank that's four blanks i've had now on this pool i think it's going to be one of the hard pools for me to fish it's not going to stop me though because i've seen the size of the fish in here and some of them are quite big and will definitely be a pb because my carp PB is only small, which I've only been carp fishing for a little while. So I'll see you on the next one.